Now at the moment this is on high high heat. Um, you can put a dressing and just put, turn it down a little bit. Always always put it on high heat just to heat up the pan. Put one tablespoon of oil in here, just letting that warm up. Yeah. Yep. So, we'll just put the onions in. Now, at the moment, this is on high, high heat. Um, you can put a dressing and just put, turn it down a little bit. Always, always put it on high heat just to heat up the pan. I'm gonna just allow it down. So we're gonna fry this off now. We're gonna do the whole guy tomato, um, well the tomato sauce really. Then we're gonna put the lid on it. I've just added the ginger and the garlic in here. I'm going to put the one tomato in here as well. You can chop these smaller if you want guys, but um, for the length of time I'm going to cook it and all of that, it will break down. Just want to keep stirring it until you've got that onion looking a bit caramelised, nice and fried. We'll start going brown. As you can see. Then now we're going to add the tomato. I'm going to put about 50 ml of um, water in here. Um, every time I use tomato in a tin, if I'm going to add water to the food, Add the water to the tin, give it a swirl round, so then you just get all that goodness from the tomato out right, the tin. As you can see, I'm already trying to break down the tomato. The more it cooks, the easier it will be to break down, so don't worry if you can't fully break it down now. You're going to see how this looks a bit red, but the longer you cook it, you're going to see how the colour changes and it becomes a bit like orangey. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my two chilies to this. I'm going to add my parsley and coriander a bit later on but I am going to add my thyme now because with the thyme because I'm having it like this it will take longer for it to infuse in here because I'm not frying it in the oil so I just want it to go in the tomato sauce like that as the parsley and coriander it's very um, fragrant kind of a herb so that nicely goes through the food. Same reason why I've added the chili now because I haven't fried it and you just want it to go soft. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do, I'm gonna get the lid and we're gonna pop the lid on here. If you haven't got a lid, use a plate but if you're going to use a plate make sure you don't burn your hem when you're taking it off so now we're going to move that to the back fire 
turn the back fire on medium heat move that to the back to let it cook guys if it's too hot and the water runs down and you haven't got a lid you're going to need to keep topping up the water and keeping an eye on it because what you don't want to happen is you just don't want it to start sticking and burning at the bottom so just make sure you keep an eye on that